We're on Caravan Terrace, uh, which has recently been uh, cleared or scrubbed by uh, Friends of Durston. And it is an area which exposes the rags, which is a massive bed of, uh, of the Purbeck rock. And uh, the reason it's exposed is that when George Burt built the estate, he created a whole infrastructure for his housing development. And in doing so, he created a walkway through the slopes of the bay, um, which was called a plaisance, which was a, a leisure walk. Unfortunately, by about 1881, the whole of that walkway was swept away in, a, in various landslips. Meantime, up here, as I say, these rags are exposed because it was quarried, and we think most of the rock and stone was used to create the, the small walls that abound through the gardens area of the estate. It's also thought that some possibly could have been of use in the castle um, when that was uh, being built, probably in the 1886-87. It's called Caravan Terrace because before the park was created, the, uh, the castle had caravans here which were let out on the terrace. Okay, this bridge was uh, built by George Burke at the end of the Plaisance, made of local stone, apart from the plaque, which is granite. Uh, and that's quite interesting in the fact that although people think of uh, Molems developing their business through limestone, in fact the business really took off when John Molems bought quarries in Guernsey and up in Scotland to made the business out of granite rather than Purbeck limestone. 